Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be, uh, discuss about infrastructure network or infrastructure based network and second is infrastructure less network. This is also known as ad hoc network. So first we are going to discuss the first part that is infrastructure based network. So infrastructure based network is a collection of nodes. So nodes like these laptop, cell phones or tablets. So these are the nodes which can transmit and receive the signals. So an infrastructure based network, these, these collection of nodes, they dynamically form a network. And to create that network, they use an existing infrastructure like base station. Like in mobile communication, we have this tower, we call it tower. And uh, this is the central. So they will be in a control of a centralized administration. So now these nodes can communicate with each other, but this communication will take place with the help of this central entity. So if this node wants to communicate with this one, so the information first will be sent to this uh, central entity and then this will be forwarded to laptop. So here an infrastructure is needed for communication or to create a network so that these nodes can exchange information with each other. And uh, one example of this infrastructure based network is a cellular network, which we call a mobile network, mobile communication. So the cellular network uh, is a network where a geographic area, the so geographic area we want to uh, cover with a signal. So that geographic area is divided into cells like this one, this is a cell. And every cell is covered by at least one base station at least by one tower and the technical name for this is BTS that is base transceiver station and now to give coverage to extended area to or to larger area these cells will be replicated so some of the area will be covered by this base station and some of the area will be covered by second base station in this way these cells are replicated to give uh, to cover more and more area. Okay, so this was one example of infrastructure based network where we have a infrastructure which is supporting communication between the nodes. And uh, just a side uh, note that this is the distance which can be covered by this uh, single tower or single base station. So if this is 3G, 4G, and 5G if they are using, uh, if they are using frequency range one. Then this can be distance, distance, I mean, this can be from 50 kilometers to 150 kilometers. And if this is the case of 5G and if they are using frequency range 2, then the distance covered can be from 250 to 300 meters and they'll be using millimeter waves. And for the detail, you can find this further detail on Wikipedia. So I have taken these numbers from here and I'll put the link in our description section as well. So this was one example of infrastructure based network and let's discuss the second example of infrastructure based network and that is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi that is wireless LAN. In wireless LAN we have these nodes and these nodes are all able to communicate and they are able to send and receive the signals. And now to communicate with each other they will be using a central entity and uh, that central entity is known as access point and this group of wireless nodes which are using this common access point so this is the common access point all the nodes which are using this uh, common access point they are known as they are known to form a basic service set so now this is a basic service set and uh, the area of this basic service set is again dependent on the signal strength of the antenna the antenna would be radiating some signal so so how far away or how long this area will be so that will be dependent on the signal strength radiated by these antennas so we discussed about infrastructure based network let us discuss the other part of this video that is infrastructure less network that is also known as ad hoc network so in this ad hoc network Let's say again, we will have some nodes which can send and receive uh, signals. So 
So let's say these are some nodes here, random nodes. Now they also make a network, but this time they will not be using any existing infrastructure. So they'll be creating that network, they'll be establishing a network without the use of existing infrastructure. So they'll be communicating, they'll establish the links like this. No infrastructure. And due to that, this is also known as decentralized network because we don't have any central entity. This is a decentralized network. And one example of infrastructure less network or the ad hoc network is Bluetooth network. What is Bluetooth network? So again, we will have certain number of nodes and Bluetooth actually is a wireless technology, which is a wireless technology standard to create a network over a short distance. It means there will be again nodes who will have Bluetooth technology enabled, a Bluetooth technology capability will be there and then they can form a network on their own and they don't need any central entity. So they can communicate with each other directly in a, in a peer to peer mode. So this is one example of ad hoc network and Bluetooth, they use this frequency range that is known as ISM band industrial, scientific, I think medicine, the medical band. So maybe you can confirm it. So ISM band that is from this range 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz. And the distance covered by these nodes can be within 10 meters. One more additional point that the same ad hoc network can also be known as MANET or the mobile ad hoc network. If these nodes are moving, it means that these nodes will not be stationary. If these nodes are continuously moving from one point to other, another, then this is known as MANET. That stands for mobile ad hoc network. Second example of ad hoc network is VENET. So that stands for vehicular ad hoc networks. And this is also known as intelligent transportation system, IPS, intelligent transportation system. And in this, intelligent transportation system we will have vehicles so we will so as you see vehicular ad hoc network so we will have vehicles and now those group of vehicles they will be forming a temporary network and without the use of any existing network infrastructure so there will not be any existing infrastructure they will be creating or establishing a network between them and this network will be there to uh, to inform each other or maybe to avoid any accident in this case because these cars will be uh, so in this vehicular ad hoc network maybe these cars will be um, driverless cars there will not be any drivers they will be autonomous cars they will be um, i mean they will be some using some sensor technology to sense everything and in this case they will be uh, creating this vehicular ad hoc network to avoid any kind of accident or to give uh, information or to exchange information with, with each other. So this is one, this also one good example of ad hoc network. There can be many more examples of this uh, infrastructure less for the ad hoc network. But the point was to clarify the idea or to clarify the difference between infrastructure based and infrastructure less network. So in simple terms, the only difference is that in infrastructure based network, we have a central entity and infrastructure less network we will not have any central entity. The nodes which want to communicate with each, with each other, they will be creating the network on their own. So that's it for today's discussion. Uh, hope to see you in some other video on maybe sensor networks or mobile communication networks. Thank you.